Hi everyone, this is New Beer Watcher. It is September 2nd, 2018, and I have something today that's going to really blow your mind and give you a greater understanding of the lens array, the shadow, and how this whole thing's been working. How about let's watch this blob, shadowy, planetary object, this object right here, pass in front of a lens. But when this shadowy object gets Bigger than the lens it can hide. Watch what happens. So this is in a Swiss, Swiss camera in Switzerland. Let's go back in time. And look already how we see this lens array overcompensating the light. Trying to make this thing normal. I rest assure you there's nothing normal about this picture. It's going to be really stunning in, in the next several photos. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, we're going backwards in time. Yeah, look at that. See, begin to eclipse this object and go darker and darker and darker. Before I go on, let's show you a quick video of the lens array of what that is. Now, according to the timestamp here, it is July. 7th 2016 that the lord had showed me a discovery of the lens array that i first thought these are planets i prayed about it he gave me a revelation that this red red lens petal effect is the effect that's coming from the lenses in this lens array now how they're being held there they could be in space held by satellites or they could be held by cloaked drone ships. That's my theory. That's the lens array. Again, small lenses, big lenses. What do you think would happen when? That it would only work as long as the shadow that they're hiding would actually cover the object. Well, back in 2016, here is an epic fail. The ultimate fail is when the lenses get destroyed by the incoming plasma the tail and debris. But as long as we see this, this is a pretty good fail, if you ask me. Because for the very first time, this incoming object is getting darker. Let's look at the timestamp, a uh, time-lapse video. Okay, so I made a video going back in time. Let's just enjoy this little time-lapse here. You can do this yourself. You can merely just click on this little arrow here and go back in time. You can say start the clock all the way back to the 18th of July, 2000, 2016. Let's watch this object turn a little red, get bigger. But remember, we're going back in time. Watch what happens when it comes so close that the cloaked lens array gets in front of it and remains there. Look how it gets darker and darker. It will eventually transition away from the lens array, completely disappear. There's the spot on the lens, right? Not a spot. In this time lapse, there are a few overlapping hours. So you're going to see redundant hours. You could only do about seven or eight time hours at a time, so I had to go back. Let me speed this forward for you just a little bit. I'm going to show you. Look at, see how it transitioned out of that? Look, over the course of a few hours, it transitioned out. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the highlights on this footage. It's f absolutely stunning, right? And then this object reappears. disappears and then here we come again with this shadowy object this is over the look how white that looks in the sky now look at this and wait till clouds and other objects appear as well it's going to be pretty amazing and remember how <laughs> i think it may be lower in the atmosphere than i think when I say that, I think they are being held by drone ships. Anti-levitation technology by our government. 
Yes, and in here, you will pretty much see nothing in front of this. Let me say, let me show you. Well, let's just keep going. Even the sky lights up like it's more light than. I'm just going to scroll forward, and I'll bury you. I'll show you the highlights there. Look at that. You catch that, people? I'm gonna. I'll, I got. I got a snapshot of that. So just hold on. And I'm gonna leave links to this all in the description box, and you can check out this for yourself. And ask yourself, why is this camera offline right now? Certain hadron collider. Well, it does play a little role in this, I believe. I believe its magnetic field is pulling Planet X towards this area. Is this visible to the naked eye? I don't think so. Our eyes don't adjust to the light as easy as a camera with unflinching eyes. We stay focused on that spot in the sky. Our eyes would dilate on the bright light intensity as it would just look way too subtle. I'm just going back and forth through time. Remember this snapshot. Look how normal this looks, right? Because, and this is near midnight, because watch what happened. Look at this. Look how this object, notice it's not a cloud. This object here, or clouds are moving. This does not move with it. Okay, that was not allowed. What since when is a cloud perfectly round? That's still the lens array affecting the light pattern showing right smack in front of this camera. The, the field of vision from this lens array is pointed pretty much straight at this camera. That's why this makes this camera so special. Look at that. I'll still use stills of that. And again, we show this light aberration in the camp. Look how crystal clear it is in the center of this thing. It's hexagonal, right? Oh, there's lots of things to show you in this. And here we look at brighter than ever and darker than ever. Look at this thing. Just over can't figure out what light level to use when this thing passes in front of it. And then it transitions again in front of it. Do you see this? Look at that. Huh. You probably scratch your head. There's only one explanation, folks. And it's what I've been telling you all along. These are shadowy planets. These are not spaceships. The spaceships are the ones hiding it. Okay? There's probably an army of these things up there. That's going to be your... When they finally turn their cloaking off, they say, oh, the aliens are attacking us. Look at this. That's all they got to do is turn off the cloaking on the ships and we're under an alien attack. That's what it would look like. All these triangular spaceships, the brown ones too as well. V-shaped. Here, some trolls are going to try and catch this black object with this. This is a little distortion on this light here, but I guarantee you it's still out there, not directly on this camera. That's what makes this camera very unique. It's right in front of this thing. Look how it's affect the light there. Okay. I think showed you enough of the, some of this time lapse here. Let's show you some of the highlights that I captured. For example, we all saw this one. How about this one? See something strange with this light here? That's because this light is focusing more light than usual. That's exactly what a lens can do. How about that one? There's the shot of the day. How do you explain a hexagonal light formation right in the middle of the sky? It's the same thing on the same camera. Look at this. See how it turned dark? How is that? I'm telling you, it's the same technology used for the, the sun halos. Electrically focusing these lights. Here's one where the trolls are say, oh, I don't see any darkness in front of it. No, maybe a little distortion on the lens, but I'll tell you what. You can't explain that okay you cannot explain that and look at this again how do you get this in one minute with the not moving with the clouds and yet we have nights like this what happened one minute it's white the one minute it's dark absolutely crazy so Please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day. See you at the...